given the function f of x is equal to minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. Now immediately I am seeing this, I will then highlight a few important things that you need to know. Since I see that my a is less than zero, it means that my graph will be a set phase. Immediately I'm talking about the value of a there, which is minus one. And then I have my value of uh, c here, which is the y-intercept. So I know that my y-intercept will be somewhere on the positive part of the graph. So I will just draw something that is as rough as that. Now the first question says, determine the x-intercept of this uh, graph. Now I have there's this, yeah, the cutters, you know, Jay-Z. He has a song that he loves so much, and the song says, when you want the x-intercept, you let y be zero. So please, sink that song in. So we want the, uh, the x-intercept, therefore, so we'll say for x int, you let y equal to zero. So therefore, I will then say, it's zero is equal to minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. And then to solve, the first thing to do is to make sure that a is a positive, so it will be x squared plus uh, 2x minus 8, all equal to a 0. Then I will factorize this to be x, because my middle term is a positive, so it means the bigger factor must be a positive. So it will be x plus 4, and then x minus 2. And then lastly, I will say my x is equal to minus 4, or my x is equals to 2. Now to write this down, I will then say it's minus 4 and 0. The other one will then be 2 and 0. So that's what I have there. The second question will then say, determine the y-intercept. The y-intercept, Beyonce says, when you want the y-intercept, you let x be 0. By the way, it's a very beautiful song, trust me. Uh, so for y, intercept, you then say x must be equal to zero. So this will be y is equal to minus zero all squared uh, minus two into a zero plus an eight. And this will be an equal to zero squared is zero minus two times a zero is zero. So my answer will be eight. Therefore, my y intercept will then be zero and eight. The third question says, determine the axis of symmetry. Now the axis of symmetry, just a rough sketch, the axis of symmetry looks something like this. So it is the line that cuts the graph into two halves. So it cuts the graph into two identical parts. And we find that using the equation x is equal to negative b divided by 2a. So remember, this is my a there. Let me use a different color. So you can see this will be my b there, and then that will be my c. So this will therefore mean that this is equal to a negative into negative 2, all divided by 2 into a negative 1. And this will then be equals to, remember, a negative times a negative will be a positive divided by, then 2 multiplied by negative, that will be negative 2, which is equal to, and then a negative 1 as the final answer. Therefore, say therefore, x is equal to negative 1. Now, please, one thing about the x of symmetry is that it has certain qualities that you need to know about it. One, it cuts the graph into two halves. Number two, it is written as an equation, so it becomes x is equal to. And then number three, it forms part of the turning point, so it is the x value of the turning point of that parabola that you are dealing with at that time. So let's look at what the next question wants. The next question says, determine the coordinates of the turning point. Now, the coordinates of the turning point already, I will then say to you, there's two ways to doing this. One will be the root where you are finding the axis of symmetry, which is what we just did. We're going to continue according to that. Or the second one will be when you are completing the square. So I'm just giving you the few options that you can use in order to particularly solve this question. So you can also complete uh, the square to find the coordinates of the turning point. But because that's a longer route, we'll just continue with the x of symmetry route, which is this one. So I have my x is equal to a negative one, that's number one. And then to find the corresponding y value, I will then say f into negative one will be equal to a negative into negative one all squared minus two into a negative one plus 
8 and this will be equals to negative 1 squared is a 1 times that it's a negative plus 2 which will be 1 plus that is a 9 therefore my y value will then be equal to a 9 therefore the coordinates of the turning point will be negative 1 and 9. Now, the next question says, sketch the graph of F showing all intercepts, the axis of symmetry, and the turning point. Now, remember, this goes back to the initial thing that I had said to you guys. I said there's five things that are important here. One will be uh, the domain, the range. Uh, we said it's the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the domain and the range, the turning point, and the shape. Remember, A is negative, so already I know this is my third phase, according to the value of A. Also, I know that my y-intercept is um, a positive value, so it means that it will be above the x-axis. The point will be somewhere above the x-axis. Then the first one was the, uh, the x-intercept. We found that there's one on the negative side and there's one on the positive side. And then lastly, there was a turning point, which is minus 1 and 9. So those are the points I'm going to plot. So quickly, I will say my TP is minus 1 and 9. And then I say that uh, my y-intercept will be 0 and 8 and then I will say my x-intercept if I remember correctly I think we found it to be minus 4 and 0 also we found it to be 2 and 0 and then lastly my a is a negative so if my a is a negative it means it's a set phase therefore I will then just draw a line so please remember uh, it has been proven um, medically so that if you can draw a straight line with your bare hand you are not normal so the fact that my line is a bit skewed it means i'm very much normal i have my negative one there which goes with nine so it will be somewhere up there i label it my tp and then i will have uh, zero and eight which is just under nine i will also have two and zero which is somewhere there and then i'll have negative four and zero which is somewhere down there. And then lastly, it's a set face, which according to this, therefore I will then plot my graph something like this. And then I label this f of x. So remember I said these are the coordinates 2 and 0, and then this is minus 4 and 0, and then this will be 0 and 8. So that's what you need to know. And then... I have my last question. It says, write down the coordinates of the turning point of g if g of x is equal to f of x minus 9. So what does that mean? It means that um, the, y, the y value subtract 9 from it. So it will be minus x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus 9. So remember, this minus 9 talks about the y value. So it means this will be equal to um, negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. So th what does that mean? It means that you are moving the turning point uh, from where it was 9 units down. So uh, remember the value of y will still be that. Then if I substitute this according to this, the answer will then be a 0. So that will be then my turning point because it will be minus 1 plus 1, which is 1 minus 1 is 0. So this will be the new turning point.